Alright, so we're going to look at factorial here. So in a previous exercise, we ended up having to do something like this a lot. We had to do like 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This happens a lot when you're trying to come up with arrangements. How many different ways can I arrange these uh, 7 digit numbers or these 7 letters or these 7 people in a line? This happens so frequently in mathematics that we actually have an operation to deal with it. It's called factorial. So if I say 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, the faster way to write it is 7 factorial. There's a factorial button on your calculator. If you press 7 exclamation mark, it'll do that operation there, and you'll immediately get the answer. Uh, 5,040. So that is what 7 factorial uh, means. Uh, we can do a bunch of examples with 7 fact with factorials, um, and some surprising sorts of things happen when you actually start working with it. So a very quick first example, evaluate 5 factorial. Well, 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that's going to be 5 times 4, which is 20, times 3, which is 60, times 2, which is 120. And obviously that one's not going to change much. That's uh, evaluating 5 factorial. Now, in some previous questions that we've done, you might be already thinking, wait a minute, sometimes I don't need to multiply all the way from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sometimes the calculation I want to do is just like 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. So what do I do when I want to stop there? And now you're probably thinking, well, I'll just do 10 factorial all the way to there, and I'll subtract uh, 6 factorial. But that's not quite going to work, but you're close to the mark. So the way that we can make that work is uh, something like this. Evaluate 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial. Now, I'm going to show you why that works. You know what 10 factorial is, it is, it's 10 times 10. And you also know what 6 factorial is, it's 10. that. So, if I want to just do 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, I need to do 10 factorial over 6 factorial because then all of that's multiplied, divided by all of that's multiplied. I can do some cancelling. And what I get is 10 factorial over 6 factorial, which is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. Um, now, typing that into your calculator is as simple as typing 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial. So bottom line, if you want to do something like that on your, uh, on your calculator, you can type that in like that. And you might think, why bother? Maybe you've got to do 100 times 99 times 98 all the way down to times 7. If that's the case, typing all of that in is going to be a lot slower than typing something like that in. So this next one's not something you're going to be able to do on the calculator, but if we work through it, we should be able to figure out how it operates. So, 10 factorial was 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. So we start at the largest number and we work our way all, down, all the way down to the number 1. n minus 1 factorial means the largest number is n minus 1. And we're going to take n minus 1 and subtract and multiply it by a number less than that. Specifically, 1 less than that. That's n minus 1 minus 1, which is n minus 2. And we're going to take that number and multiply it by 1 less than that, which is n minus 3. We're going to take that number and multiply it by 1 less than that. Now the problem is I can keep doing that forever, but there's a secret, dot, dot, dot. The last number I'm going to multiply this by is the number 1. The second last number I'm going to multiply it by is the number 2. And the third last number is the number 3. So with these tricky, it's actually just, let's not go crazy. Three dots. Three dots, three times two times one. We start at a large number, could be a million, could be a hundred, could be five, I don't know what it is. 
But if we do n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4, dot, 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 times 3, times 2, times 1. Put a little times in there. Okay, and then we're going to divide it by, this time, n minus 3, uh, let's be clever about this, n minus 3, n minus 4, n minus 5. Now there's an n minus 5 in there, you just can't see it at the moment. Um, dot, 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 times 3, times 2, times 1. And now we can start cancelling things out. The 1's cancel out, the 2's cancel out, the 3's cancel out. There's a secret n minus 5 in there which can cancel out. n minus 4 cancels out, and n minus 3 cancels out. So what I have left over is n minus 1 times n minus 2. And that could be my answer. I could also write it as um, n squared minus 1n minus 2, and so minus 3n plus 2. That would be another way to write that n minus 1 factorial over n minus 3 factorial is n squared minus 3n plus 2. So there's some easy stuff you can do with factorials. There's some sort of strange stuff that you can do with factorials. Um, let's get started.